you are still trying to spend time on making dashboards, you are wasting time. Recently, I have discovered Trimmer, which is a React-based framework that is built on top of Tailwind CSS. What makes this so good is the fact that you can make dashboards so easily. Now inside their documentation, you can, fi- you can find the basic get started, installation, theming, and the visualizations, and the basic component uh, documentation. But what very sparks my interest is this right here next to installation is your first dashboard. What is that? Now, I don't really see a lot of UI libraries at, that actually make creating a dashboard super easy. Well, although Tremor is based on dashboards, but I never really see a framework or a UI library demonstrate their uh, their uh, signature inside their own documentation, which is redefined nowadays. And so when I click on this, you get the basic getting started, create your first dashboard. So of course, I know this is a little bit bland, but stick with me. So you have number one, load a page shell, add your KPI cards, and add a chart, and blah, 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 blah. And you get this basic dashboard, which is highly interactive and looks fairly professional. But apart from the, all the pros you see here, I do have to mention that the other aspects like the standard card, the switch, select, and all these input areas are very bland and standard. Now, if you can see here, this card is very standard and very, I would say, ugly. The design is overall is uncomparable to other libraries like ShadCN or Daisy UI. And I would much prefer uh, ShadCN and Daisy UI's cards over them. And if you take a look at the callout here, it's it's useful, but the opacity on the main background contrast to the border makes it I will makes it very ugly and personally I would not use this. I do see some use cases where I would possibly use this, but not very much. I would much prefer a toast over the, this call out. And although this frame or this UI library is specializes in charts i would love to see them actually specialize in these smaller components as i feel like once they develop these components it would be easier for them to scale upwards and create a more diverse community that targets more and different aspects of what developers use and need but as of right now it's quite new i feel like it has the potential to become a bigger ui library And I definitely see some uniqueness compared to other UI libraries. And it's actually one of the first UI libraries I see that offer a really good chart system or charting or data visualization compared to React charts and the basic, you know, common already known uh, UI libraries. But nonetheless, it's a great UI library. But if you were to create a full stack application, you would still need to rely on some other uh, libraries such as ShadCN, Daisy UI, etc. But nonetheless, if you guys are interested in me making a tutorial and project and project of this library and this library only, feel free to comment down below. And that basically wraps up today's video. I know it's quite short and concise, but make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't, and I will see you in the next one.